Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today we are going to be looking at a kind of science that works almost like magic, my favorite kind of science. What we're going to be looking at today is called a pH indicator. What does pH mean? I'll tell you. pH stands for the power of the hydrogen ion. And when you're looking at a scientific reaction, when it's finished and you look at your solution and you see if it has more hydrogen protons or less hydrogen protons, that will tell you if something is more acidic or more basic. Why is that important? I will tell you. There are certain scientific reactions, certain scientific processes that depend on a certain level of acidity. For example, when you eat, your digestion process needs to have a certain level of acidity. And if something is wrong with that, it won't work the way that it's supposed to, and that is no good. So today we are going to look at a pH indicator that is made from something pretty normal and can tell you if the liquid you're looking at is more of an acid or more of a base. Let's take a look. So we are gonna start out with red cabbage, something you can find in any grocery store. And that purple and white is so pretty, I think. We are gonna cut it up into smaller pieces and then we're gonna let it soak in this pitcher of water. Why red cabbage? Red cabbage has something in it that's called anthocyanin. An anthocyanin changes color depending on the acidity of its environment. So once we basically make anthocyanin water from this red cabbage, it will tell us if something is an acid or a base when we mix them together. So I am just going to load as much of this in there as I can, and we'll let it sit for about half hour or an hour. And we will know when it's ready because all of the water in there is going to turn kind of a really pretty purple color. And I'm using words like acid and base, but what does that really mean? Well, acids are things that tend to taste kind of sour, like orange juice or lemon juice. And bases are things that uh, you may have noticed are kind of slippery, like soap or egg whites. We can't taste everything that's an acid or a base. A lot of things will be not good for you to intake. So this is another way that we can tell if something is an acid or base by using this pH indicator. Okay guys, it's about an hour later and I think we are ready to go here. So you can see that we've got this pitcher half filled with our lovely red cabbage water. It's taken on a really pretty purple color. So this is our indicator filled with lots of anthocyanin. And we are gonna mix it with our acids and our bases. And right in the middle of the pH scale is water, which is neutral, neither acidic or basic. For our acid, we're gonna be using lemonade and our base is gonna be water with some baking soda added into it. And we should see something happen almost immediately when we start to mix it in. So we are gonna start out with our neutral, our water. And it is right in the middle. So really nothing is gonna change. Our anthrocyanin is gonna look pretty much just the same. When we mix it with our base though, we get a lovely blue color. And when we mix it with our lemonade, our acid, right away it turns bright pink. So our indicator will tell us when something is an acid or something is a base, depending on the color change that you see happen. that is the color changing almost like magic science of a pH indicator. Thanks for following along guys and I hope to see you back next week for another science short.